Okay, here we go. All right, so um, I just made a little list, and um, I was just talking about um, how uh, he it's, it's important to have the conversation, and the reason why it's important to have the conversation, this is the reason why um, a lot of us uh, Black people really can't get along in a lot of situations because we don't know how to talk to one another. And, you know, this is why it's really important. We have to talk about these type of things. It's the way that you talk to people so the message can get across, right? Um, I think that the word equality was used in a large spectrum because um, from him and his point of view, he was comparing uh, almost um, – uh, gender identity and sex. And when you compare gender identity and sex, it's, it's, it's really no comparison. Um, he was comparing cisgender women with trans women biologically, and you cannot do that, you know? And then you was talking about identity. So when you are, ha you, you guys were having two different conversations and that's why everything was clashing and people was getting confused. This is why we as a black community have to be educated in verbiage, the way that we talk, the way that we use our words. Um, so we won't be confused and that we won't uh, create chaos. You know what I'm saying? So when we're talking about the identity, we need to talk about um, uh, how we, uh, how we, it, the experience. I experienced as trans women. This is the fight that we have, right? The fight is equality. So for for him as a gay male, you know, because gay gay men kind of and and they have a different perspective. Cisgender women have a different perspective. So when you have trans women, it's hard to relate and it's hard to translate the language so they will understand. This is why we have to be educated. So I feel that when you say um, you can't compare uh, because biological women, they, you know, they, they have children and, you know, they have menstrual cycles and they go through these, you know, uh, uh, emotions and trans women would never understand, but it's a different way that we understand. It's a different mm -hmm. way that, you know, we go through the same thing. And this is mm -hmm. the fight that we're fighting. We're fighting for equality. We, we're, we, we're not marching for nothing. We're not, you know, putting ourselves out. If people are getting killed for trying to be equal, in society, try to coexist in society. Trans women are dying today. And this is why we need to um, understand the fight that we're fighting because of equality. So if we have people, especially gay males, that are sitting here on their large platforms talking about we will never be equal, then we never will be. You know what I'm saying? We have to talk about how can we, well, you know, because we're not perfect, but the goal is to strive towards perfection. We need to work on being equal together. You know, if we all sit down, it was like, well, you know, I'm never going to be white. I'm never going to be black. I'm never going to be uh, a Russian or Chinese. You know what I'm saying? We all will always be in our separate little niche. But it took one person to say, you know what? I had a dream that we all can be together. So if we have somebody and if we work as a community, because we all in this together, LGBT, you know what I'm saying? It's not separated. At one time, somebody had to fight for LGBT and all the other, you know, categories to be equal. Equality is important. So the equality that he was talking about was on a biological standpoint. Yeah, and that's that not what we were initially talking about. We were talking about the equality of identity. Mm -hmm. So we have to understand identity and sex. And um, I, I, I think that's pretty much what, it, I mean, basically that's what it was because you know, I, whether we understand it or not, Nicole, 2019 and, two, and, and going into two, two, uh, 2020, the struggle for trans women is going to be serious. And the reason why it's so rampant right now is because we're getting a breakthrough. We have to fight this. You know, sometimes, you know, you got to go down before you go up. You know, a lot of people have, have died for fighting for it black rights just to be accepted as being black but when you are black and trans 
it's a whole different situation. Not taken away from uh, uh, other, you know, people that's in the LGBT community or, you know, black, you know, lesbians or, you know, black trans men or black gay men. But it's a major difference and a different type of accept acceptance and a different type of fight of being black and trans in 2019. And that's all I want to say. Thank you very much. God bless you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank and you. you are lovely, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby.